guys, so the first thing I'm doing is I'm taking this Scandinavian Makeup Priming Spray, and I'm spraying that all over my face, and then I'm taking the Makeup Forever, two, these are two primers, the first one's the mattifying one, and then the pore minimizing one, and I'm putting those in my face, and then we are taking the NYX Lid Lingerie in Bronze Mirage, and I'm putting that on my lid as a base. Then I'm taking the Too Faced Chocolate Bar Palette, and I'm taking the Jade Creme Brulee, and I'm putting that all over my lid, and then I am taking, what is it, Milk Chocolate, and I'm putting that in my crease, and just working it back and forth, and then we are taking Black Bar's Truffle, and all from the same palette, and I'm just putting that in my outer face. Oh, and in case you guys are wondering, all of the products that I use will be listed down below. After I put Black Bar's Truffle on, I'm going into my Glitter Eyes Glitter press glitter palette I'm taking this like goldy champagne shade if I knew what shade it was I would tell you but that palette is fucked up <laughs> so I'm just taking that shade and I'm putting it on the middle of my lid and then I'm taking ice from NYX it's glitter and I'm putting it on the middle of my lid and like up towards my brow bone and then I'm taking my makeup forever ink liner and I am just making a simple cat eye with that after that, I'm just taking some of the Maybelline Lash Discovery and I'm throwing a coat of that on my lashes to prep them for falsies. And then I'm taking the House of Lashes Lashes in Starlet and I'm just putting those on my eyeballs. And then we're taking the Maybelline Matte Poreless Foundation and I am just the Fit Me Foundation. And I am just putting that all over my face and bopping it out with the Beauty Blender. Then we're going to get on into highlighting. So I am taking the Kat Von D Cream Concealer in the shade L1 and I am putting that underneath my eyes, down the bridge of my nose, my chin, and my forehead, and then I am blending it out. And once I am done blending that out, I am taking the white shade, so white out, and I am just putting that underneath my eyes. I'm also throwing some of it underneath my um, collarbone, not my collarbone, my cheekbone, and I am just putting that there so that my um, contour really pops because I find that this uh, filter makes you look like nice and like sculpted, okay? So I'm trying to look really nice and really sculpted. You know, I'm sorry if my voice sounds like dookie in this voiceover because I have a really bad cold right now and I just feel so shitty. Um, so if I sound a little weird, it's because of that. Now to cover up whatever pimples I got going on, I'm taking the Physicians Formula Concealer X Concealer and I'm just putting that on my pimply areas and then I am blending it out with the Beauty Blender. Now to further sculpt this chubby face, I'm taking the contour shade from this Makeup Forever Contouring Palette in 20, I think it is, and I am just drawing a line down my cheekbones and bringing it up towards my temples and then down on the sides of the bridge of my nose, and then I am blending my cheekbones up in circular motions with a um, MAC stippling brush, and then I am blending the sides of my nose down, um, so down the sides of my nose to make it look thinner. Now I really wanted to own like the cool toned bronzy goldy thing that I feel like this filter has. So I'm taking this Estee Edit Illuminator in Nightlight. Is it Nightlight? Yeah, I think it's Nightlight. And I'm just putting that on the sides of my face and it just gives you like a cool toned kind of bronzy effect and I really, really like it. And then I'm taking this Mew Box I'm Highlighter and um, I'm putting that on my cheekbones, down the bridge of my nose, and my cupid's bow. Then to set all that stuff, I'm taking this Laura Geller, I don't even remember what this powder is called, but I'm taking it and I'm putting it all over my face, just patting it in because I want some coverage. And then I am taking this Laura Mercier uh, Secret Brightening Powder and I am putting that underneath my eyes, down the bridge of my nose, my forehead, my chin, and I am just letting it bake for a little bit. And I've been obsessed with like doing this lately. Like, I feel like it took me so long to get into the whole like baking craze, but I'm so in the baking craze and I love this tiny little beauty blender. But anyway, uh, yeah, so I'm just putting that all over the place and I'm letting it sit. To contour, I'm taking one of my favorite like drugstore contouring palettes. This is the uh, NYX Contour Duo in Double Date. Yeah, it's in Double Date. And I am just putting that on my cheekbones and bringing it up towards my temples and some underneath my nose. And I'm taking a brush and removing the Secret Brightening Powder. And then I am taking the e.l.f. Baked, or no, it's not baked. It's the Mineral Bronzer in Baked Peach. And I'm just putting that all over my cheeks, on my temples, on my nose, just all over the place. And then I'm taking this e.l.f. blush. It's the Essential Blush, and I think it's in Koi. 
Um, if I'm wrong, we'll have it in the description box or on the screen or something. And I'm just putting that all over my face. And then we're taking the Pat McGrath Skin Fetish Highlighter in Nude, and I'm putting that on my cheekbones, on my nose, and just all over the place. I want it to be like super, super, super glowy. Then I'm taking some creme brulee from the Chocolate Bar palette again, and I'm just putting that underneath my eyes, or underneath my lash line. Deciding I was not glowy enough, I took some of ice from NYX and I put that all over the places you would highlight because I just wanted it to be even more sparkly. This is a Mimi Box eyeliner in Lower Tail and I am putting that on like the outer portion of my waterline and then I am taking this Urban Decay um, eyeliner and I think, I think it's in YOLO. I think um, and I'm putting that in the middle of my eye and then I am taking this uh, NYX eyeliner in glitzy gold and I'm putting that in my inner corner and then I'm taking the Maybelline lash discovery and I'm putting that on my lower lashes and then we are taking this I just had the barb, excuse me. We're taking this um, NYX studio liner in extreme gold and I'm just putting like little circle shapes on the very top of my head because with this filter there's like that little like I don't know, like sparkles going on up there, but I'm just trying to mimic that effect up on my forehead. After that, I'm taking the Urban Decay eyeliner again, and I'm just putting like little like white dots with that on my forehead and like on my cheeks. And then I'm taking the NYX white liquid liner, and I'm putting like little white dots. And then we are taking this a Tooth House. It's called like Teardrop eyeliner. I don't know. It's like a very sparkly eyeliner, and I'm just putting little like sparkly dots all over my face just to get the kind of glowy effect that this filter has. After that I'm taking Max Half Red and I'm lining my lips and then I'm taking a Mally Beauty lip liner and I am putting that like um, below the half red line and then we're creating like a very like serious ombre lip going on okay. Um, so I'm taking the Mally one I'm just putting that below it and then I'm taking a Dose of Colors liquid lipstick in brick and I'm putting that on top and just kind of like patting it in and then I am taking Solo from Colourpop and putting that right kind of on top of brick and then last but not least I am taking Sand from Dose of Colors and putting that on top of Solo so it's a very intense ombre lip but I feel like it really gets the effect that this filter has like the thing that it puts on your lips and it's kind of cute kind of sort of kind of Anyway, um, so after that, I'm setting my face with my Hourglass Ambient Lighting Powder and Ethereal Light, and then I am taking my Butterfly Clips that I'm going to show you guys how I made, like, real quickly at the end of this video, but I'm just putting them all in my hair, like, throughout the two sides of my head to create kind of like a butterfly crown. The very last thing that I did for this look was I took some of this sparkly hairspray that I got from Spirit Halloween and like my face looks so unpleasant because this stuff kind of stinks but it gives you the prettiest effect to your hair. Your hair is just so pretty and sparkly and like some of my favorite just it's so pretty you guys seriously like I just want to wear my hair like that every day but anyway so that is the finished makeup tutorial portion of this look and really quickly I'm just going to show you guys how I did my little butterfly clips they're fairly easy um the first thing that I did was I took these butterflies that I got from AC Moore and I'm going to show you guys so these butterflies I got from AC Moore and they they're like sticker butterflies and I took the sticker off of them and then like I picked it off and then I took this gold pink that I have. This is not like a cool gold. This is a very bright gold because the butterflies are very bright. There's my cat. Um, the butterflies are a very bright gold. So I took that and I just painted each one of the butterflies with that. And then I took this like floral arrangement thing that I got from Michaels and I cut it up and I painted the white beads on them gold. And then I took this um, spray paint. This is like a sparkly pink spray paint and I just spray painted all of the butterflies with that and it just made them sparkly. 
And then I took the little bead things that I got from the floral arrangement that I got from Michaels and I put them in between some of the butterflies' wings and just like stuck them in there. There's like a foam part and it just sticks right in there. Um, and I didn't do like a whole bunch of them, I just did them on some of the butterflies. And then I took a bobby pin and I glue gunned the butterflies to a bobby pin. And that's how I did my butterflies. So I hope you guys like this tutorial, like this video. If you like this video, subscribe, it makes me happy. And I hope you guys are having a beautiful day. Bye!